Le Maison Bruant sur Verre. In 1742, Bleichart Maximilien de Helmstedt bought Morhungi County. It is in front of the old castle of the Ringgraves, dilapidated, that the Count decides to build his new residence, the new castle, which was completed in 1769. It is this building that has become the Bruant Sauveur House and that will be transformed over the centuries according to its different assignments. The building remained the Chateau Neuf until the Revolution of 1789. At that time, the Count emigrated and settled in Neckerbischofsheim in Germany where is the cradle of his family. These goods in France were confiscated in 1794 and sold as national goods, with the exception of the new castle and the provost's house, which were excluded from the sale. The new castle was then transformed into an 80-bed hospital. Count Bleichart Maximilian Augustin, son of the count who built the castle, died in 1802. His cousin Baron August Raben recovered the building in 1806 by a decree of Napoleon. The new castle remained in the Helmstedt family until it was sold in 1834. Mr. Justin Nicholas says Victor Bruant acquires the building and makes it a wholesale wine and spirits business by rehabilitating the building. Joseph Laurent Sauveur continued his trade around 1900 and until after the First World War. The company Viola Frere, a public works and buildings company, became the owner in 1945 and transformed it into housing units, which were sold in lots, to give the residents that we still know today. Joseph Laurent Sauveur was born in Morhungi on April 21, 1854 and died there on April 5, 1933. The Battle of Morhungi, August 19 and 20, 1914, gave him the opportunity to show his attachment to France and his desire to serve his native country, who had been annexed to the German Empire in 1870. During these days of war, he treated the French wounded whom he gathered in these premises by giving them first aid and brought them the recon. Of circumstance. In the days following the battle, led by German officers, Joseph Laurent Sauveur and the requisitioned Morinchois temporarily buried the dead on the battlefield, more than 5,000 fighters in total. He took the initiative with these Morinchois friends to gather the pieces of identification and various documents or objects collected on the dead French soldiers they buried. He classified these objects, hid them until the end of the hostilities to thwart the searches and then gave them to the families. In 1919, he helped Lieutenant FLIARD, Delegate of the Military Civil Registry, to direct the delicate exhumation operations and then the regrouping of the dead at the Riche National Cemetery, 1500 soldiers were identified on 5000 corpses. It was he who identified the 2nd Lieutenant Curiers de Castelnau of the 4th Battalion of Foot Hunters, son of General de Castelnau, commander of the 2nd French Army. He was president of the French Souvenir, delegate to Morhungi and was awarded the Croix de Guerre in 1921 and the Croix de Chevalier de la Légion d'Honneur in 1933. He was appointed family delegate to attend on their behalf the exhumations and restitution of bodies in cemeteries. He was part of the support committee to build the chapel of the Necropolis of Riche, he collected donations and offerings from public generosity and he was always at the disposal of the families of the deceased soldiers to correspond and to collect on the graves where one of their own rests. 